Hello everyone, Katarina here. Today I have for you a bonus video using the brush powders and the single sunflower stamp set I used in the three ways of using brush powders video. I used this flower for the third technique, simple watercoloring, only to realize that the messy watercoloring would not really work on the bigger sunflower stamp set just because it had way too much going on. But because I already filmed the coloring for this flower, I decided to show it as well. So here it is. I stamped the flower with the VersaFine ink in Onyx Black on top of a hot press watercolor cardstock. I let it dry for a bit so the watercolors do not mix with it. And then I taped the panel with the flower on top of a board and I picked the powders I wanted to use, yellow, green and brown. Then I sprinkled the powders onto my mixing palette and sprayed them with water. I had a paper towel and two cups with water on a side, one for dirty water and one for clean water and I started watercoloring. I had two brushes, one for applying the color and the other is a clean brush to spread the color from bottom to top. You don't really need two brushes, I usually forget that I have two brushes anyway and sometimes I mix them up. Also, what I'm usually not good at is coloring with watercolors when I don't heat emboss. But normally I also use the Bristol cardstock and water brush markers and hardly ever it works for me. It seems like using a watercolor cardstock does the trick. Anyways, because I'm not good at shading, what I try to do here so the flowers do not look flat, I applied two layers of watercolors and on the second layer I wanted to add some dimension by adding more dark colors. I will speed up the video a bit and play some music so you can see the coloring and I will be back once I'm done. the flower air dry and then I started assembling the card. I prepared a few things off camera. I hid embossed the sentiment you are my sunshine. This is part of the stamp set with the sunflower. I used a white embossing powder and black cardstock. I also die cut the panel with the sunflower and one more panel from a yellow cardstock. I used a smaller stitch rectangular die and for the background panel, I used a craft cardstock and I used the biggest stitched rectangular die. Both dies are from the set by Create a Smile. And also for the craft panel, I used the dotted next level embossing folder from We Are Memory Keepers. 
I adhere the dotted panel directly on top of a white card base using a double-sided tape. The two smaller panels I first adhered on top of each other using a tape adhesive and then I adhered both panels on top of the dotty panel using a foam tape so it's a little bit erased. Before you comb it and press down the panel, first lightly place it on top of the card base and once you are happy then press it. It might not work with all adhesives but it is worth trying this. I ruined so many cards just because I pressed the panel on top of the card base too quickly and then I realized it was uneven. Anyways, for the sentiment, I wanted the banner to come from the side of the dotty panel while covering the bottom of the flower. First, I cut off the right side of the banner at an angle. For some reason, I really like doing this lately. I added two layers of a phone tape on the part that was on the side not covering the sunflower. And for the rest of the banner, I adhered one layer of the phone adhesive. I carefully placed it onto the card and again before I pressed it down, I made sure that I have the banner exactly where I wanted it to be. And this is the card for today. I really hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel, I hope you'll subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram and Pinterest. And also hop over to my blog where I have photos of the cards and often I include there more information as well. All the links you can find in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!